EJ Rakesh from Mizuho Securities. Uh, he just raised his price target on Intel to $72. He's got a buy rating on the stock. Very good to see you, VJ. Thanks for, for, for joining us. So uh, I think I'm right in saying you like the announcement, particularly the new plants in Arizona. Uh, is it a bit too little too late or, or you welcome it wholeheartedly? Uh, thanks for having me on, Wilfred. No, I think it's a pretty smart move and it's a timely move because I think it's a confluence of uh, the U.S. government and the Department of Defense uh, wanting some onshore domestic production uh, as a national security strategy. Uh, it's a function of uh, some of the key customers like Amazon, Microsoft, Qualcomm, Google, Ericsson, Qualcomm, all needing uh, a domestic production uh, uh, facility. And so that also plays into this. And, you know, it helps, uh, you know, having a third uh, leg to the whole foundry strategy instead of having all the foundry overseas in Asia. So uh, I think the timing was perfect. It was a smart move. Uh, it's a very, they can be a very strong number three in the foundry market, uh, easily get 15, 20 percent of the 100 billion foundry market over the next five years, let's say. Uh, that's very incremental to the top line for Intel, which right, right now, let's say, 70 billion in the top line. 20 billion is, is very significant if they can do that. That's sort of what I wanted to ask you, Vijay, which is what, what is the timeline here? No doubt the, the move is a big one, and, it, and it's politically sensible right now, right, with politicians on both sides of the aisle wanting more semiconductors made in this country for national security reasons, among other things. But how long does that sort of thing take, and when do you expect it to actually show up in, in Intel's earnings and to see this comeback, if it happens, come to fruition? Yeah, so, Sarah, that's a good question. I think if you look at what Intel is doing today, it'll be mostly 22 nanometer and some 14 nanometer depreciated capacity that they have. But obviously they want to be a player at the leading edge, seven nanometer and five nanometer. So, but that'll take time. I, I would think like two years out, you could see them in the seven nanometer uh, foundry business uh, once they get that roadmap uh, solidified and, and uh, ironed out. Uh, but definitely uh, they would be one of the contenders in that leading edge uh, play. And I, you know, give it three to five years is, uh, you know, what you take to mature in this business. Uh, but, you know, they're, you know, watch out, they're coming in, uh, you know, so. Why, why the sell-off intraday or, or compared to last night, do you think? And I guess you, you welcome it with a buy rating. This is, a, a, I guess, a bang the table moment buying opportunity, is it? Yeah, Wilfred, I think this stock is very really under-owned, right? I think, I mean, I would say the hedge funds have been probably much more uh, proactive and gotten in. I think it's very really under-owned on the long side. Uh, and so I, I would think uh, investors will definitely start to take a long, a big look at this name as it uh, start to change the strategy on Intel longer term. I would say in terms of the sell-off here, uh, not really, right? I mean, Intel has held up, is holding up much better than the peers in the SOX index today. Uh, if you look at some of the peers, they're down a lot more. Uh, but not just that. I think Intel is up 30% plus year to date. That's better than... Uh, I would say even the financials energy side. So um, probably one of the best performing semi stocks in uh, in the group for the year year to date. Uh, but again, uh, you know, I think uh, they're definitely starting a whole new strategy, a whole new roadmap. They're bringing some big uh, old technology guys back from Sunil Shanoi to Glenn Hinton. I think they have a, they have Pat Gelsinger at the head now, uh, and uh, I, I, I'm sure they they start trying to push hard on all the new strategies. So. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.